Hey, how's it going? It's Nancy Gammon. Are you getting cold feet? Well, let's warm them up with ice. Ice dyed socks, that is. In this video, I'll show you how to create colorful designs on cozy, warm bamboo socks. The supply list for this project is a little bit long, so I'll put all of the details in the video description. I'm starting with 100% bamboo socks. These are just a lovely cozy soft sock that I like how it takes the dye. They've been soaking in a soda ash solution for at least 10 minutes. And usually I do kind of a quick and easy method of dyeing socks where I just lay them underneath something else that I'm dyeing. But today I want to try an experiment of dyeing them a little bit more purposefully uh, and independently in their own little containers. So I'm going to start by layering them on top of each other and then rolling them into just a super loose cinnamon roll type of a formation. I don't want it tight at all. I want there to be lots of room for the ice to melt and for the colors to go down into the sock. So once I have it rolled loosely, I'm going to cover it just with a damp scrap of cloth. And the, during the process, not all of the powdered dye turns to liquid, and so the protective cloth just helps keep the fabric nice and um, not spotty or clumpy from powdered dye that doesn't happen to dissolve completely. So I'm going to get each pair of socks rolled up and tucked into its own little plastic container and these are just reused food containers that I've washed carefully so they're not greasy or anything. And then once I get all three of these pairs set up, I'm going to cover them with a layer of ice cubes. You can use ice or snow, ice cubes or crushed ice. I'm using ice cubes from a bag today and I'm just going to mound those on after I get them rolled up. That possibly worked better in my head. I kind of have ice cubes falling all over the place here. Uh, and I may go ahead and put a towel around these after I get it set up since it looks like things are just going to be falling off. So now I'm ready to sprinkle on the powdered dye. And you should be wearing a dust mask for this part. I'm going to do one pair of socks in blues. So I have a tiny bit of peacock blue left that I'm going to sprinkle on here and then also add a little bit of strong navy and these are a special kind of powdered dye called fiber reactive dye it's different than what you get in the box at the grocery store let's see this one's turquoise these are designed to specially work with 100% natural plant fibers like bamboo uh, and they just create really nice results with the ice dyeing, whereas the grocery store dye in a box doesn't, doesn't work so well. Then my next pair of socks I'm going to do in greens. I have a bright color called Lime Pop, which is going to give us a good splash of color on our ankles here. And then I'm going to also add Grasshopper which is a new color for spring 2019 that I haven't used yet, so I'm excited to see how this turns out. And then I'll also use a color called Kingfisher Blue, which is a kind of a sprucey mermaidy color that I've used a lot in the past and really liked. 
And then my last pair of socks I'm going to do in purples. And let's see, I have a little bit left of wisteria. So we'll sprinkle that on. Might as well use all of it here. It's kind of a light color. And then I have something called Elven Lily, which I've used before and I know that's lovely. So we'll get some Elven Lily in there. And then the last color is a deep purple, which is a stronger hue and give us some boldness to our socks. And there we are. Now the socks just to need to sit and rest about 22, 24 hours. This pan did a much better job of containing the ice, so I measured it and it's five and a half inches across. I'd suggest that as the minimum pan size for this technique. I'm gonna take off the protective fabrics here and we'll see what kind of yummy socks we have underneath. Ooh, lots of good colors. Got the blue, here's the green. Oh my goodness, it looks like things turned out fabulously. And this must be the purple down here. Mm. Yum, yum, yum. So I'm gonna roll these out to show you here. And then what I'm gonna do is take them to the sink and I'm gonna rinse them in cold water until the water runs clear. And then I'm going to wash them in a textile detergent that's specially designed to remove any of the loose dye. I'm gonna do the textile detergent in hot water. And then I'm going to rinse them again in cold water using a product called Retain, which will fix the colors and keep them nice and permanent. So I do, if you're interested in all that process, I go into the details in a video called um, How to Make Kaleidoscope Dyes. And I'll link to that video at the end of this one so that you have it handy. But I'm gonna go ahead and rinse and wash and set behind the scenes here, and then come back and show you the finished socks. Here's the completed pairs of socks. It looks like the green pair has a little birthmark. I think one of the ice cubes from the purple dye fell off and made friends with the green sock. But they've been rinsed in cold water and then washed in textile detergent in hot water, then rinsed again in cold water and set with the Retain dye fixative. And now they're mostly dry, they're still a tiny bit damp, but if you don't mind damp feet, then they're ready to wear and enjoy. Would you like to experiment together? Well, sock it to me. Head on over to my website at nancygammon.com where you can check out the current selection of workshops.